Good morning. Today I'm cycling over to a place called Alton. Now if you're a regular viewer of the vlog, you'll know that I cycled over there about six weeks ago. Uh, and on that day I took a particular route. But today I'm taking one that's slightly different. It's hillier and it's longer, so it's gonna be a fair bit tougher. All things being equal today, my route is going to take me along these little back lanes to Bereton, where thankfully I'll be descending the monster Kiln Hill and then uh, I'll go into Petersfield up to Liphook onto a place called Headley and then some more back lanes, Weldham and then approaching Alton from the west from a place called Hollybourne should be about 55 kilometres or so and I think it's going to be maybe 500 meters of climbing today. Afternoon. The reason I'm taking this rather more difficult route is basically the wind Normally when I cycle to Alton, I'll go via a place called East Meon and then basically it's a couple of climbs and then it's more or less a 20 kilometer downhill descent. Now that road runs in a northwesterly direction. So normally when the wind's blowing from the southwest, that's a tailwind. And I absolutely love doing that 20 kilometer downhill descent with a tailwind. But for some reason, today the wind has changed completely and it's coming from the northwest. So I'm not going to enjoy that descent. So instead, I thought I'd do a bit of hill training, get my legs a bit stronger. It doesn't matter how many times I go down that descent of Kiln Lane, I always find it terrifying and I'm on the brakes. Today, it particularly felt like the bike was gonna sort of go over. I'm not surprised, the computer was saying 17% gradient, so yeah, terrifying. Well, that's me through the town of Petersfield and it's just a long climb up to the rather imaginatively named village of Hillbrow. This climb up to Hillbrow is actually quite a toughie. It's about four kilometers long with an average gradient of about 4%, but it's a great one for just setting a rhythm and trying to stick to it. So great training climb. As you can see, the road's a fair bit busier, but back in the day, this used to be the main Portsmouth to London road. And then about 20 years ago, they built a bypass. So uh, about 90% of the traffic used that. But as you can see, quite a lot of cars still use this one. Well, there we go. That's me at the top of Hill Brow. And I have to admit that I'm fairly pleased with that. I did most of the climb in the big ring and I wasn't even in the 
lowest gear on the big ring. I was sort of changing up between the top three gears. So I wouldn't have been able to have done that a little while ago. Maybe I am getting a little bit of my old mojo back that I had 10 days ago. Unfortunately, I've had to make a quick change of plans. I'm off over to Alton to my little sister's house because uh, it was my birthday on Wednesday and uh, my niece and my sister are cooking me a birthday meal and it wouldn't do for me to be late. So I've had to divert and cut the route short a little bit, but it's still going to be pretty tough because I've got to go up Empshot Hill. Despite Empshot Hill being one of my favourites, this time of day on a Saturday afternoon is probably not the best time to go up it because um, it's quite steep and there's a very tight little hairpin at the top uh, and you have to take it quite wide and that puts you quite in danger with all the traffic going up there so I'm actually being a bit naughty and riding up a private road that I know cuts through to where the hill comes out at the top and the reason I know it's here is because I used to work up here and I'd ride up here pretty much every day still quite a toughie blimey that was a lot tougher than I remember mind you the last time I went up there was probably 35 years ago topped out at about 11% but of course being a private road it's got the advantage of being completely traffic free although the disadvantage is that the road surface is really really scrappy back on the Queen's Highway now and it's a short descent into the village of Selborne and then once I've cleared that it's a gentle four kilometre climb into Alton. Blimey, did I say that four kilometres to Alton was a gentle ascent? Yeah, don't believe a word I say. It's that headwind making it especially hard today. Nearly there now, and I'm only a quarter of an hour late. Blimey, I don't mind admitting that, that was quite a tough ride today, even though it's a very similar distance to the ride that I did over to Alton last time at 43 kilometers the wind made all the difference today there we go today's ride's done and dusted thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one